Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. The Lord bless you. 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 God bless you. Please, whether you are watching me from Facebook or whether you are watching me from uh, TikTok, I'd like you to share this broadcast. Invite as many people as you can invite to this broadcast because um, it's very important. This broadcast is about revelation. We are going to review a lot of things. A lot of things are going to be reviewed. God bless you. 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 Share the video. It doesn't matter whether you are in Zambia. It doesn't matter whether you are in Botswana doesn't matter whether you're in South Africa because I'm about to reveal to you the mystery of the month of November. What you need to know about the month of November. What happens in the month of November and how can you defend yourself, protect yourself, be aware of what happens in the month of November. It's very important. The Bible says my people perish because of lack of knowledge. So what I'm giving you is revelation, what I'm giving you is knowledge, what I'm giving you is wisdom on how you can handle November. You see, it's very easy to survive in the month of January. Despite the month of January being very difficult, it's very easy for you to survive. But November is a month of human sacrifice November is the month of human sacrifice and a lot of sacrifices that are made in the month of November please share this video invite as many people as you can share it 20 times share it 21 times share it as many times as you can month of November is a month of sacrifice that is the month of november it's a month of sacrifice so first of all before you enter into november there is the 31st of october which is the date for halloween those of you that are in america those of you that are in western countries you heard of halloween which is the day of the dead on the 31st of october 2022 there was what the western world was calling halloween or the day of the dead the celebration of the dead so what happened on the 31st of october is that the dead were invoked into the earth dimension. Dead people were invoked into the earth dimension. And also, if you go to uh, Mexico, dead relatives were publicly invoked into the earth dimension. And as dead people were invoked into the earth dimension, there was a portal that was open and there is a portal that is always open in the month of November 
because you need to understand that October is a transition into November. So what are they trying to do to make Halloween on the 31st of October? They are trying to make a transition from October to November and they invoke the date. Many of you have been wondering why from the 31st of October to date, you have been dreaming of the dead. This is very important. You have been dreaming of dead relatives. You have been dreaming of dead cousins. You have been dreaming of your dead father, your dead mother. You have been dreaming they have been talking to you. That is because in the satanic calendar or the demonic world, they know exactly what they are doing. So they have invoked the dead. And as the dead begin to commune with the living, and as the dead begin to speak with the living, they begin to call the living into, into the death transitional place. Now watch this. I'm going to tell you the things that uh, will begin to happen in the month of November. And also, I'm going to tell you how you can protect and pray against these things. So dead people have been invoked in the realm of the spirit. Whether you are in Botswana, whether you are in South Africa, whether you are in Zambia, this is not uh, a revelation specifically for Zambia. This is a revelation specifically for a believer. You may be in Dubai. From 31st of October into November in the season of Halloween, the dead were raised to the surface and as they are raised to the surface the dead have been given one particular assignment and this is why november is very dangerous they have been given one particular assignment to carry a living person into the land of the dead the dead are calling out living people into the land of the dead and why is this done it is done in line with fortification. November is the month of fortification. A witch is vulnerable in November because a witch is looking for sacrifice. November is also called the month of witches or the month of wizards where witches and wizards are looking for sacrifice they are looking for men and women to sacrifice on their altars to fortify themselves. So you got to understand this. In November, it does not matter whether it is your family members that is bewitching you. In November, it does not matter whether a witch or a wizard knows you. What a witch or a wizard is looking for in the month of November is whom to sacrifice. They are looking for whom to sacrifice. And in order for them to achieve their aim, because November is not only a month of sacrifice for witches and wizards, it is also the month of upgrade. It is a month of upgrade. Every witch, every wizard, every satanist, every secret society, in the month of November, before they go into the month of December, which is the month of celebration, before they go into the month of December, they have to present a sacrifice. So in the month of November, there are a lot of kidnap, kidnap cases in the month of November. Because they are looking for human sacrifice. They are looking for human beings that they can use to fortify their altars. Most of the time, in November, they are not using chicken sacrifice. They are not using cow sacrifice. They are using human sacrifices. Now, when you see most traditional doctors or, or, or witch doctors, as you call them, in the month of November, you will see them, they will begin to present cows. They will begin to present goats. They will begin to present all sorts of things. These things are called sacrifices, but you have to watch something. Sometimes what they do in the month of November, they will capture a human being and turn that human being into a goat. They will capture a human being and turn that human being into a cow. So you may think they are slaughtering a cow for sacrifice, 
Meanwhile, they are slaughtering a human being. You may think that they are sacrificing a God. Meanwhile, they are sacrificing a human being. I'm here to pray, not only to pray for you, I'm here also to give you knowledge. So in the month of November, you will see that there are strange accidents that begin to happen in the life of people. Strange accidents. Strange accidents. You see buses, they begin to collide. This is not only in Zambia. This is in South Africa. This is everywhere around the world. You will see buses begin to collide. Because a witch is, is like, it's a month of competition. And it's a month of targets. You see, many witches have been given targets. Many wizards have been given targets. They are told that at the end of the year, you must give a virgin. So, when they look at how they are going to give a virgin, they will target a public place, like a public bus, where they will, they will use a spell. They will cast a spell on the public bus, and you discover that the bus will be involved in an accident. Consequently, that becomes the blood of the people that are pouring on the tarmac becomes a sacrifice that is presented for that witch or that wizard. Because there are two things involved in the month of November. It is either the witch or the wizard or the satanist succeeds with their sacrifice or they die. The month of November is also the month of death when it comes to witches and wizards because they are vulnerable. And that is why if you are a prayer warrior, you have a prayer altar, a functional prayer altar where you seek the face of God. If you have got a functional prayer altar, November is the month when you can kill witches and wizards in your family. November is a month where you can kill Satanists in your family. Why? Because they are very weak. They are looking for blood to fortify themselves. They are very, very weak. In November, witches are looking for ways to survive. So, I want to pray for you, even as I go deeper, that you and your family members shall not be victims of human sacrifice. Wherever it is that you are hearing the sound of my voice from, my name is Prophet Ian Genesis, and I am the man that is carrying the Genesis mandate, demonstrating the God of the beginning in the now. I pray for you that you and your family members shall not be victims of sacrifices in the name of Jesus. If you have noticed, there are many families where people die every November to December. Many people don't really die in December. They die in November. Why? Because in a particular family, there can be a witch that is using young life to fortify himself or to fortify herself. This happens even in the political arena. This happens even in the business fraternity. There are people that have entered into covenants with the devil. There are people who have entered into covenants with deadly altars that have told them that every November you must look for a man. You must look for a woman. Sometimes they are given the option of looking for a man in their family. Sometimes they are given the option to look for a man or a woman outside their family. So as they begin to do that, strange spirits, like the spirit of Beisabab, the spirit, the spirit of Beisabab, the spirit of the underworld. That is why I was telling you that the month of Halloween uh, or the day of Halloween is done on the 31st of October, going into November, because Beisabab, Beisabab, the spirit of the underworld is risen on the surface and it needs to be fed with human blood of sacrifice. I want to pray for you because there are many of you are saying, Prophet, I'm traveling out of my province, going to another place. I'm driving, whether you are driving or you are moving by public transport and you are saying, man of God, pray for me. I want to pray for you and I want to declare into your life that as you travel from your city, from your province, 
going to a different place as the spirit of Beelzebub. Thank you, Lord Jesus. As the spirit of Beelzebub has been resurrected on the surface, the spirit of Nimbus is it there is a, an Egyptian spirit which is called the spirit of Nimbus. The spirit of Nimbus. This is a spirit that is responsible of carrying people from the earth dimension to the underworld. It's called the spirit of Numbers. It's a very, very deadly demon. It's a deadly spirit. It has, it has authority over the rich. It has authority over the poor. So, Satanists, you know, witches, they kill by witchcraft. But Satanists or people in the occult, they will use the spirit of Numbers. They will call out the spirit of Numbers. And when they call out the spirit of Numbers, the spirit of Numbers comes to the surface. And they will sacrifice a man or a woman to be given on the altar of sacrifice. I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. Seriously, I want to pray for you. Especially those of you that are in business. You are doing a business and you have people that are in competition with you. Do you know that people in the occult, if they want their business to grow, they want their business to grow beyond human expectation, they can kill a business person with a business star. Once they kill that business person and they put the business person to their business, their business will begin to grow. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Please share the video. It's very important. You need to pray. You need to pray in the month of November. You need to pray in the month of November. So that we get a business person and they will sacrifice a business person for their business to begin to grow, for their business to begin to boom. So you discover that many business people, if they got their charm in Malawi, they will travel to Malawi. If they got their charm in Zambia, they will, they will travel to Zambia. So you need to understand that even men of God, November is the month of impartation. November. If you are a man of God or you are a woman of God, November is the month you must visit your spiritual father for physical impartation. November. November is a month when you must visit your spiritual father for physical impartation. <coughs> physical impartation. Because that is also a month of not only spiritual fortification for witches and wizards, it is also a month of physical fortification for Christians. Now watch this. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you something. In the month of November, there is a portal that is open that makes witches to be weak. There is so much power on the earth dimension that makes witches and wizards to be weak because of the spiritual energy once the spirit of Beelzebub has been invoked to the surface, the angel Michael, the angel Michael, and the angel Uriel, they partner together to bring back Beelzebub into the abyss. We are, we, are, we, are, we are going deeper. We are going deeper. So there is a lot of spirituality that goes on in the earth dimension during the month of November that the angel Michael is contending with Beelzebub in order for Beelzebub to return to the abyss because as long as Beelzebub is on the earth realm human beings are used as sacrifice watch this a lot of celebrities lose their children when it comes closer to the month of November or in the month of November. Some of them, it is because witches and wizards and their friends in the music industry or uh, in, in the same business where they are, they have used their child for sacrifice. Or they themselves have entered into covenants that require them to renew the sacrifices that they have to make in the month of November. 
I want to pray for you. Please, I want to pray for you. If you are going to travel, I decree and I declare to all my sons and daughters, without fear of contradiction, my name is Prophet here Genesis, and I am the man that is carrying the Genesis mandate, demonstrating the God of the beginning and the now. You will not become a victim of numbers, the spirit of the dead. You will not become a victim of numbers. Your family members will not become victims of numbers. I decree and I declare the power of base about to all those that are hearing the sound of a voice. The powers of base about will not be able to subdue your family. I decree and I declare you will not lose any of your family members mysteriously. You will not lose your wife mysteriously. You will not lose your husband mysteriously. You will not lose your partner mysteriously. Nobody, no man, no woman is going to offer you on the altar of sacrifice. I decree and I declare as I advance in this prayer, I come against the spirit and the demon of Halloween. I declare that every necromancer, every witch, every wizard, every sorcerer, every occultic man that has built an altar that needs to be fortified in this month of November, your blood and that of your family will not be used as sacrifice in the name of Jesus. Listen, if you are dreaming of dead people, in the month of November, it means you are marked for death. If you are dreaming of your dead relatives in the month of November, it means you are marked for death. You are marked for death. You are marked for death. I want to pray for you and I want to declare in your life. There are some of you are saying, Prophet, since the month of November started, I've been dreaming of dead people. Dead people talking to me me play with the dead people the bible says the the dead have nothing to do with the living then why are you then seeing the dead in the eighth dimension i want to decree and i want to disconnect you by the power of the holy ghost by the power of the holy ghost by the power of the holy ghost i want to pray for you you are in nigeria you are in zambia you are in canada anyone that has invoked the dead so that you can be marked for death in the name of jesus i decree and i declare their plan will come to no effect 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 i decree and i declare as a prophet as a genesis prophet wherever it is that you are i decree and i declare in the name of jesus in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, you will not die young. In the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare. Listen, there are politicians who have entered into covenant with the devil. This is not a secret. Even in Botswana, even in South Africa, even in Zambia, even in Ghana, even in, in Europe, there are politicians that have entered into covenant with the devil. And when a politician enters into a covenant with the devil, it's bigger than his family. It's bigger than his circle of influence. Because when a politician enters into covenant with the devil, number one, they begin to sacrifice people that are within their ruling jurisdiction. Watch this. When a mayor, uh, when a mayor, uh, uh, enters into covenant with the devil. What happens? The city that is a mayor in, he has got jurisdiction over it and he can offer sacrifices according to that city. When an MP, a member of parliament, enters into covenant with the devil, he has got jurisdiction over the constituency that he is an MP. When a, a, a cabinet minister enters into covenant with the devil within his circle of jurisdiction he can sacrifice from there when a president enters into covenant with the devil what happens is the nation 
that is ruling over is under his spiritual jurisdiction. I want you to understand this. Whether you are in Botswana, whether you are in South Africa, when a president enters into covenant with the devil, the people that is ruling, the people that are under him, they are under his jurisdiction. Consequently, he can decree to sacrifice within that jurisdiction and it will happen. There is something that we call jurisdictional authority. Jurisdictional authority. You see, there are ranks in the realm of the spirit. There are ranks. There are what we call principalities. These principalities can move from Nigeria and come and be with somebody in Zambia because of their rank, their principalities. They are rank in the realm of the spirit. They have got no barrier in the realm of the spirit. It's a rank. The person is a principality. That is why even a prophet or a man of God can become a principality. When a prophet becomes a principality, he can decree to somebody in America, why yes, the prophet is in Zambia, and is not restricted by the distance where the person is. Same applies to witches and wizards and people in the occult. The what we call principality and that what we call powers. So who are powers? Powers are people who are in authority. Sometimes your boss at work can enter into covenant with the devil and be sacrificing employees that are within his company because that boss is become he has become a power. Powers are people, human beings and spirits that are with authority. As long as they've got authority over you, some kind of authority, in the realm of the spirit, they can exercise that authority and they will have jurisdiction over you. I want to pray for you, wherever it is that you are. I want to decree and I want to declare. Some of you, you are working in a company where your boss is a witch. You are working in a company where your boss is a wizard. You are working in a company. You are working in a business. Listen, I was I was praying for, for, for somebody the other day. And God revealed to me that the boss where they are working in that business environment, the boss has entered into a covenant with the devil. And as that worker is working, the boss is using the star of that worker to make money. They have entered into covenant. We are living in a strange world. We are living in a spiritual world. You cannot aff afford to be natural. It is dangerous for you to be natural. It is dangerous for you not to be spiritual. So what do you do in such a situation? You receive covering. You receive, you also receive fortification. Covering is, covering is also fortification. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Whichever company you are working in, whichever place you have found yourself in, and there is a power in that place that is uh, is releasing spells over you that they try to use you for sacrifice in this month of november i decree and i declare as a prophet as i advance in this prayer whatever power they are using whether they are using witchcraft whether they are using voodoo whether they are using winka power whether they are using occultic power, whether they are using necromancy, whether they are using the stars, whether they are using the moon to speak over you, I declare spiritual covering over you. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You will not die young. You will not die. I see 13 people, 13 people in number that are watching me and they're hearing the sound of my voice. I see 13 people, 13 people in number. I see 13 people. You have been dreaming of the day. You dreamt of someone trying to kill you. You dreamt of yourself in a coffin. You dreamt of one of your family members is dead. I decree and I declare as a prophet, you will not die before your time. I declare nobody will sacrifice you. Your head is too big for someone to use as a sacrifice. Your head will not be used for sacrifice. Your head will not be used for sacrifice. Your head will not be used for sacrifice.
Your head will not be used for sacrifice. I decree and I declare, the wicked will drink their own blood and they will eat their own flesh. I declare that schedule, the schedule that they have planned against you and against your family and against your community and against your nation and against whatever that concerns you in the name of Jesus. I declare wherever they are calling your name, whether it is in a cover, they are calling your name so that you will appear there so that they use you for sacrifice in this month of November. I declare that plan will not succeed. 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 I pray for you wherever it is that you are. I decree and I declare as a prophet, as I advance in this prayer, every cauldron that is drinking blood, every altar that is drinking human blood, any dwarf that is drinking human blood that said that they will fortify it using your blood in this month of november i declare as advance in my prayer wherever it is that you are hearing the sound of my voice i declare your blood is bitter i declare your blood is bitter to drink i declare your blood is bitter to drink i declare your blood is bitter to drink they will not drink your blood they will not eat your flesh they will not drink your blood. They will not drink the blood of your children. They will not drink the blood of your siblings. They will not drink the blood of your friends. They will not drink the blood of the people in the sector of your influence. I come against that blood sacrifice. 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 In the name of Jesus, I come against that blood sacrifice. I come against it now. 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 Your blood is bitter to drink. Your blood is bitter to drink. Your blood is bitter to drink. Every accident that has been programmed, whether by road, whether by rail, whether by, by motorcycle, whether by air, whether by sea, every accident that has been programmed and it has been programmed to find you in the place of misfortune in the name of jesus in the name of jesus i put an injunction as a prophet a prophetic in injunction and i forbid the enemy from having access to you i decree and i declare every principality that is moving in the surface of the air I decree and I declare that principality will not take over your soul, will not take over your life, will not take over that of the life of your family. In the name of Jesus, as I advance in this prayer, I decree and I declare, November you shall be strong. 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 I declare, I speak spiritual fortification over your life and that of the life of your family. I declare spiritual fortification. You are fortified. I declare you are fortified. I declare you shall you are fortified. No man or woman, no politician that has entered into covenant with the devil will drink your blood. No politician that has entered into covenant with the devil will drink your blood. I don't know where you are, whether you are in Nigeria, whether you are in Botswana, whether you are in Zambia, I decree and I declare, I summon the spirit and the power that they have consulted on that altar. And I put an injunction. I said that we have no access to you. I decree and I declare. They have gone to the four junctions of the road. And they have made incantations on the four junctions of the road. And they have said as long as these roads meet together. They have made consultations. And they have said whoever that we pass through these four junctions of the road. Shall become our victim. I decree and I declare, if they are waiting for you, they will wait in vain. If they are waiting for you, they will wait in vain. If they are waiting for you, they will wait in vain. I decree and I declare, they have gone on to the four ways. They have gone on to the four ways. And they have summoned the spirit from the east. They have summoned the spirit from the west. They have summoned the spirit.
spirit from the south. They have summoned the spirits, the four corner spirit. They have summoned them, and they have said they want to use your family. They want to use you for sacrifice. I decree and I declare as a prophet, as I advance in this prayer, those spirits will not have power, will not have dominion over you. I decree and declare, peace be still in your life. Peace be still in your life. Peace be still in your life. I declare, if they went to the forest and they entered into the forest and they spoke to the spirits of the forest, the wild spirits, the spirits that have no control, they spoke to the spirits in the forest and they said that they want to use you and they want to use your family. They want to use your destiny. I come against those forest spirits in the name of Jesus. 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 Any man, any woman that has gone to the grave to sleep on the grave so that you will not wake up. They have gone to the grave to sleep on the grave so that you will not wake up. So that your son will not wake up. So that your daughter will not wake up. So that your mother, your father will not wake up. They have gone to sleep on the grave. In the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare as they sleep on the grave, they will not wake up. As they sleep on the grave, they will not wake up. As they sleep sleep on the dead, they will not wake up. As they sleep on that Masa Prekendo Osuka Prakataya E Rosso Kotaya As they sleep on that grave they will not wake up. I decree and I declare as I advance in my prayer, any witch that said to themselves that they will bind themselves with an oath, that they will make sacrifices in your family, that sacrifice ends this Manta Masata Rukuska Beresco Poroska Parande Rondo Subrakataya. I appear where they appear and I decree and I declare any book they have written your name down, they have written your name, they have written your name, and they have made signatures, they have made your name as a point of contact. That as they write your name, your spirit will be invoked. I decree and I declare as a prophet, wherever it is that you are, your spirit as they invoke it, they die instantly. As they invoke your spirit, they die instantly. As they invoke your spirit, they die instantly. As they invoke your spirit, they die instantly. I don't care where they went. They carried your photograph. They carried the photograph of your mother. They carried the photograph of your father. They carried the photograph of any of your family members. And as they carried that photograph, they say as long as they use that photograph as a point of contact so that they will anni annihilate you, so that they will kill you before your time, I appear as an oracle. Wherever they carried your photograph, it bends to ashes. Wherever they carried your photograph, it bends to ashes. Uh, wherever they carry your photograph, it bends to ashes. Wherever they carry your photograph, it bends to ashes. Your photograph bends now. Your photograph bends now. Your photograph bends now. Your photograph bends now. I bend down the altar that they visited. I decree and I declare every voodoo priest that is there on the altar controlling and manipulating the events and times and seasons of how they're gonna do it holy ghost fire holy ghost fire holy ghost fire holy ghost fire i bend down their shrine i bend down their shrine some of you they sent an animal they sent a cat so that when you look at the cat you will die they sent a, a tortoise so that when you look at the tortoise that you will die some of you they sent an owl they sent an evil bed to come and visit you so that that evil bed we announce the death of any of your family members any evil owl any evil animal in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus every evil bird that is sent every evil animal that is sent as an agent of your death Sabretaka, Barosco Dolegia, Masuka Parante. 
is an agile. I declare that animal catch fire. 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 Randos Korebeke. Rekodoska Prata. In the name of Jesus. You will not expire this 2022 November. 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 You will not expire. I decree and I declare any man or woman that say that they will sacrifice you in this November. They will drink their own blood. They will eat their own flesh. They will drink their own blood and they will eat their own flesh. I declare in the name of Jesus, wherever they are, fire set on the matter. 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 I enter into their cave. I enter into the place where they are hiding. I remove them from their hiding places. In the name of Jesus, the place where they are hiding themselves, I remove them from their hiding places O sana manosh katalada roko tu kebeledia rando sobra kataya imando sokonde bele katokaya in the name of jesus wherever they have hide uh, they have hidden their juju rika suka prata in the name of jesus catch fire catch fire wherever they have hidden their talisman wherever they have hidden their control wherever they have hidden their instruments of destruction in the name of jesus Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, as I advance in this prayer, I enter into their cave and I bring them out. I fish them out from their hiding places. I fish them out from their hiding places. I fish them out like a prophetic hook. I hook them out of the waters. They have entered into the waters. They have consulted marine powers. They have consulted Ezewani. They have consulted water spirits. They have consulted the water goddess. They have consulted all powers in the water. And they have said to themselves, because we have consulted marine powers, we cannot con be consumed by fire. I decree and I declare with a spiritual hook, I hook them out of the water. I walk 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 them out of the water. Whoever that has consulted powers in the Indian Ocean, whoever that has consulted powers in the Atlantic Ocean, Masa Kobaradea, Regedu Sataya, powers of the rivers that they have consulted, they went to a river and they made sacrifices in the river and they said to themselves that see. Since we have made sacrifices to the river, any man or woman that drinks water shall be our victim. I decree and I declare, your blood is bitter. 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 Masukia Karato. Perese Brokata. I don't know who I'm talking to, but whoever that has visited a river and they have visited, they have visited the river spirit, they have visited the lake spirit, and they have made consultations, they have made sacrifices in those waters by the power of the Holy Ghost. I stand like I have always stood to declare the immortality of the counsel of God, and I prophesy as I'm commanded by the Lord that agreement they met in the water it shall not come to pass that agreement they met in the water concerning you concerning your family concerning your family members concerning your community concerning your nation concerning your continent that agreement that was made in the water i declare that agreement will be of none effect. That agreement will be of none effect. That agreement will be of none effect. That water agreement. Let that water agreement die. 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 Every agreement that was made in the water. I don't know why I'm talking about water. There is a man, there is a woman that is watching me right now. They say you will not survive this year because of the water they make covenants with in the name 
name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, I decree and I declare, wherever you are, that agreement begin to catch fire. That agreement begin to catch fire. Rando Sokoba, Elege Elege, that agreement in Botswana. There is a man I see in Botswana. They made an agreement with the water spirit that you will not survive this year. You have been in and out of hospital. They made an agreement with the water spirit. There is a man I am seeing right now. You are in Botswana. Every time you sleep, you are dreaming of the dead. There is a man right now. Every time you sleep, whether you sleep during the day, you are dreaming of the dead. Whether you, you sleep during the night, you are dreaming of the dead. They have called you from the place of Nimbus. They have called you by base above spirit. I decree and I declare you are exempted. You are exempted. Your family will not bury you. Shanamanto. Your family will not bury you. 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 You shall not be buried. You shall not be buried. I remove you from the grave. Where they have put you, you are coming out. 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 There are those that the enemy has decided to shoot an arrow of diabetes, an arrow of HIV, an arrow of, 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 of all sorts of diseases, and they have made a program, a schedule that you are going to die in the month of November. That was a schedule of the enemy, but I put you on the schedule of God, and I decree and I declare that sacrifice will not hold, that sacrifice will not hold, that sacrifice will not hold, that sacrifice will not hold. Masa daria kota kota, igroso bele diako, rando si pratekano, e bele zubia kataya. Whatever sickness that they said we kill you this year, you are surviving that sickness. You are surviving that sickness. You are surviving that sickness. Whatever sickness they planted in your child, whatever sickness they planted in your wife, whatever sickness they planted in your daughter, whatever sickness they planted in your partner, they planted, and they said you will not finish November if I be the man of God. God, if I be the prophet of God, wherever you are, in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost, that agreement will be of none effect. That agreement is of none effect. I erase every agreement, every medical report, doctor's report that has been written against you and against your family. I decree and I declare. By the strength of the altar, wherever it is that you are, in the name of Jesus, I prophesy to you that agreement will not come to pass. 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 Come to pass. In the name of Jesus, you are entering into a hospital, and the doctor there is an agent of the devil. You are entering into a hospital, and a nurse there. He's an agent of the devil. Their plan will not succeed. 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 Will not succeed. Will not succeed. In the mighty name of Jesus. There are some medical doctors who are agents of the devil. There are nurses who are agents of the devil. If they touch someone, the person will die. It doesn't matter whether the person was going to leave, the person will die. We are living in a very dangerous world. So many medical doctors are witches and wizards. So many nurses, so many surgeons have been put there strategy. You know, the devil is very strategic and crafty. Very strategic and very crafty. Very strategic. 
He has put them in places where he can easily access human sacrifice. In hospitals, sometimes hospitals may look like a place of deliverance. Sometimes hospitals are the place of finishing you completely. Finishing you completely. So many people have died of wrong medication. Wrong di diagnosis. Wrong medication. Wrong medication that was prescribed by a medical doctor. Wrong medication. Administering a wrong drug. So many people have died. Because there are people who have been placed there to fulfill the agenda. To fulfill the assignment of the enemy. They have been placed in hospitals. So many people that have gone to hospitals, they were supposed to come out. They died. Not because they were supposed to die. But because the witch from your family has an agreement with the witch in the hospital. So, there you need covering. Shakapanadushka lakatola peredesku buku ya bekedeya Rondo suka paraskia atola maneke lazuka. Rando dosika paradia le gadushka. Brandando ligarakatonde. Beleske otula manda ya katara. Yakoto le gebea karandos ke beleda. Shikra dokoskata. I speak in the first salabi towns. Legede shanamana. Rande si kodosh katala baladia. I speak in the first salabi towns wherever you are. By the grace on the altar, you will not enter a hospital and die. Rakosukia katala baladosha. That sickness that they intended to kill you in a hospital, you are preserved. You are preserved. You are preserved. As the bird has escaped the snare of the fowler, you have escaped the snare of the wicked. The snare is broken and you have been loosed from it. I decree and I declare as an oracle any place they carry you for medication, you are coming out of that place alive. Any place they carry you for medication, any place they carry your family members for medication, Masikorokondepaledeshakataya. Any form of poisoning, whether it is food poisoning, whether it is injection by poisoning, Rade Sane Kaloshka, Rade Kila Brakatunde Lekataya. See a serpent and spirit. As I am praying, I see a snake. I see a serpent and spirit. Some of you, a snake has been loose. It has been loose to bite you so that it can inject venom in your body. The venom of the serpent. The venom of the serpent. I see the venom of the serpent. Rateka Sekatola Balata. You have been dreaming of a snake trying to bite you. They are trying to inject the venom of a serpent into your body if I be a man of God if I be a prophet of God wherever you are that venom in your body will not kill you that venom in your body will not kill you I kill the serpent 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 I kill the serpent. The serpent is dead. The serpent is dead. The serpent is dead. That serpent in your mother's family. That serpent in your father's family. I kill the serpent. The serpent is dead. The serpent is dead. The serpent is dead. Any man, any woman that is turning into a snake, becoming a serpent, by the power of the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare the serpent is dead. 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 Oshanda paleka do kana mataya. Rende kusa pataya. That poison they put in your body. Sometimes. 
Sometimes what you have is not BP. It is a poison. What you have is not sugar. It is a poison. What you have is not HIV. It is a poison. What you have is not sickle cell anemia. It is a poison. By the power of the Holy Ghost, by decree and I declare every poison, every poison, every poison, dry up. I command that poison to dry. I command that poison to dry out of your body. I command that poison to dry out of the body. I command that poison to dry out of the body. In the name of Jesus, there is a man, there is a woman. That is saying, prophet, I've got fibroids because of a poison. There is a poison that was injected into your system. And because it is a poison, it created fibroids. It created an ovarian cyst. In the name of Jesus, every poison that has entered your body by the power of the Holy Ghost, I command that poison to dry. I command that poison to dry. I command that poison to dry. Dry. I command that poison to dry. I command that poison to dry. O shana matoka tire. O siana matire. O shene get a relation. In the no shana matoya. O yande de 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 de. I command that poison in your mother's blood to dry. I command that poison in your father's blood to dry. That evil poison that is in your body. I command that poison to dry. Rako shata, e regeto kashande, regeto shakata. There are people who are watching this video. They are vomiting right now because the poison is coming out. Because the poison is coming out. Because the poison is coming out. You are vomiting now because the poison that was injected inside your body. That evil poison is coming out. That evil poison is coming out. That evil. Poison Poison is coming out. Who sell a go shall up a nation? Who run dosi karata? In the little, in the little, in the little, who shall a dele go shall nana? In the little, do step a media. Who see a kataya? That poison is drying up in the name of Jesus. There are women who are watching me, there are men who are watching me. And the same prophet, I don't know what is happening to me. I cannot get married. I cannot get, I cannot marry. Uh, there, there is something that happened to me. And, and, and a man cannot be attracted to me. And a woman cannot be attracted to me. As I pray for you. In the name of Jesus. That evil mask. That demonic mask. That was put on your face. So that people will not see you. That demonic mask that was put on your face uh, so that you shall not be attracted uh, so that you don't attract anybody uh, in the name of Jesus uh, in the name of Jesus uh, in the name of Jesus uh, I remove that mask uh, I remove that mask uh, I remove that mask uh, from today people will see you from today people will notice you from today people will see you from today people will notice you I say from today people will see you. I said from today people will notice you. In the name of Jesus, I command men and women to notice you. I command men and women to notice you. In the name of Jesus, there is somebody that is watching me. I believe from TikTok. You are saying, man of God, pray for me. I have been married for 10 years. I've not been able to have a child. You are watching me from TikTok. In the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare. Somebody's watching me also from Facebook. He said, man of God, I've been married for three years. I've not been able to have a child. I touch your womb. I touch your womb. Every embargo that I've been put on your womb so that you cannot give birth to a baby. I remove that embargo. I remove that embargo. I remove that embargo. I remove that embargo. They say you will not carry your baby, but I say you will carry your baby. They say you will not carry your child, but I say you will carry your child. My name is Prophet Ian Genesis, and I am the man that is carrying the Genesis mandate.
demonstrating the God of the beginning in the now. Wherever you are, whatsoever that has made your life a mockery, we come to an end today. Whatsoever that has made your life a mockery, whatsoever that has made your life a mockery, it comes to an end today. They have mocked you for a long time. It comes to an end today. Whatsoever that has made your life a mockery, it comes to an end today. Whatsoever that has made your life a mockery, maybe it is sickness. It has made your life a mockery. Maybe it is disease. It has made your life a mockery. Whatsoever that has made your life a mockery in the name of Jesus uh, whatsoever that has made your life a mockery Oshana Matala Bataya Inene Shene Mokataya Oshane Kola Belegedea Regedosia Kamadosha Intana Koto Belege Shata Anything that has made your life a mockery, it comes to an end. Anything that has made your life a mockery, it comes to an end. The spirit of shame, I command it to dry. I command the spirit of shame to dry out of your life. The spirit of shame to dry out of your life. The spirit of shame to dry out of your life. The spirit of shame to dry out of your life. There are some of you, a man cannot end. Your life is in a place of disgrace. A man will not end. Your life is in a place of disgrace. I decree and I declare in the name of Jesus, every shame they have programmed in your life by the power of the Holy Ghost and by prayer in the name of Jesus, that shame catch fire that shame catch fire that shame catch fire reka supenegesha oshande kele kodosha kata ramba ba 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 sukea oshaka tekete ya kata kata ya kata kata oshake tele kashekata origa da sukata la parata you are going to wallow in shame. You will not wallow in shame. Affliction will not stand a second time. I decree and I declare by the horns of the altar. Affliction. That affliction from your father's family. That affliction from your mother's family. That affliction. That affliction. That affliction. That affliction. That affliction. I command that evil affliction to catch fire. I command that evil affliction to catch fire. I command that wicked affliction, that wicked spirit, that wicked power that is forcing its way into your life to bring disgrace and discomfort into your destiny by the power of the Holy Ghost and by the power of the spoken word. In the name of Jesus, I command every manipulation, every manipulation and manipulators. There is a difference between a manipulation and a manipulator. I decree every manipulation that has been caused to happen in your life. You didn't get your promotion because your boss was manipulated. You didn't get your increase because your boss was manipulated. You didn't get married because your husband was manipulated. You didn't get married because your wife was manipulated. I speak by the power of the Holy Ghost. That manipulation, I command it to die. That manipulation, I command it to die. That manipulation, I command it to die. It to die. Whoever spoke to manipulate your life, that is is a manipulator in the name of Jesus that manipulator that is going around spoiling your name spoiling your image to your destiny help us by the power of the Holy Ghost I command every manipulator to be put to shame I command every manipulator to be put to shame I command every manipulator to be put to shame I command every manipulator Every manipulator to be put to shame. 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 In the name of Jesus. 
If I see your amen, your life will be better. If I see your amen, your life will be better. If I see your amen, your life will be better. If I see your amen, your life will be better. If I see your amen, your life will be better. If I see your amen, your life will be better. If I see your amen, your life will be better. If I see your amen, your life will be better. 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 If I see your amen, your life will be better. If I see your amen, your life will be better. If I see your amen, your life will be better. If I see your amen, your life will be better. If I see your amen, your life will be better. 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 Better days are coming in front of you. Better seasons are coming in front of you. Your life will get better after today. My name is Prophet Ian Genesis. And I am the man that is covering the Genesis mandate. Demonstrating the God of the beginning in the now. And without fear of contradiction, November, you are preserved in the mighty name of Jesus. The Son of the living God, we pray. God bless you. Shalom for now. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.